Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. Thank you for joining us today. I've got the pleasure of being joined by Josephine. and Josephine is going to smell and rate some Amouage fragrances. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Stay tuned to FM. Okay, so I'm joined by Josephine. Uh, thank you for coming on Fragmental. It's a pleasure thank you so to much have for you. Having me. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> we discovered each other on Instagram, um, and we actually met for the first time in Milan in yep. April, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, so Josephine's Instagram is amazing. I will leave a link to her Instagram oh, account too nice. in the description <laughs> below the video. So do go over there, um, show her some some love. Now I was thinking um, of fragrances for Josephine to uh, to try that she hasn't tried before. We're going to be testing male fragrances. I have a sample set here of Amouage. Um, there are ten in here, but it's going to take too long to get through them all. So I've picked out what I think are five of the most popular ones. Cool. And you're going to smell them and let us know what you think. Uh, if you want to rate them out of 10, I know it's just off of first impressions off a blotter strip, but it gives people an indication yeah. of, of your opinion sure. on fragrances. All right, so you've never smelled anything from Amouage no. before. So I've heard about the brand yep. so many times before, but I've never smelled any of their fragrances. So this will definitely be a first impressions. Okay, so um, we're going to... Mm. I, I will tell you what they are because the names of them aren't going to mean anything to to you. And these are really fancy little testers. Yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. This set, this set is great wow. because uh, you know there's ten of their fragrances, so a great way to to discover them. I think it was about 70, 70 pounds. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. So this is Interlude Man. Uh, so what do you think of that one? Ooh, this is really nice. It's like really rich and opulent yes it is and like full body like i imagine like something dripping in gold you yeah. know it's like really really opulent uh yeah i, I think you're right there um, mm. it's um so it's very uh incense frankincense myrrh oud in mm, yeah the oud i can definitely pick it out yeah mm. Um, it's a very bold fragrance. Well. I, I think it's known, it comes in a blue bottle, I think it's known as the Blue Beast because it is that strong a fragrance. Wow. Uh, so so mm. there you go. So do you do you like that scent? It's I like quite, it. I yeah. like there's a little sweetness to it as well, yeah, which I, yeah. I enjoy. I think it balances out the the heavier notes that can, yeah. can be a bit um, like strong and full on. Yeah. So it gives it like a little bit of an addictive touch to it, which I really like. Um, and it's really unisex actually. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really, I enjoy it. I think it's, um, I don't know, I, you know, we smell a lot of things and uh, I find that I get drawn to the more complex smells because they're a little bit more different, a little bit more interesting. That doesn't necessarily mean they're the most crowd-pleasing fragrances mm. for other people to smell who aren't as into fragrances, but I think as fragrance lovers, the more complex they are, the, the more I, I get drawn in. I don't know if you feel the same way. Yeah, this is definitely a complex I agree. scent. It's, and it, this is what we were saying earlier, like especially when you're looking for niche, yeah. you want something that is different, that is a bit quirky, I would yeah. say. So if you, yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Well, mm. what we're going to do is we'll revisit them all for a, for a cool. dry down at the end. So do you want to, is so there a number on this? So that, I've, got, I've written the names oh, okay, on cool. them. Okay, cool. Pre-done. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I really, I really enjoy Interlude, I think it's great. This so, one sorry, is... do you want me to rate it? Oh yeah, what, what yeah. would you, oh, on your um, first out impressions? Out of ten? Yeah. I would say it's like a, like a seven. Okay, yeah. all right, good rating. Um, Journeyman. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's good. I prefer it than the other one. Uh, it's livelier. It, it, um, it's uh, mm. a bit more effervescent, I think, yeah. than the first one. Um, it's like musky and... Yeah. So it's got uh, oh. neroli in it, which I think um, lights things up a little mm -hmm. bit. It's got, it gives it a nice lightness. Um, spices, cardamom, mm -hmm. pepper, and... Um, what else? Uh, what else has it got? And juniper. So it's oh, so whenever okay. there's juniper, it always gives me like a gin and refreshing gin yeah, and tonic yeah. type, type it's feel. It's like a cooling yeah. effect. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. But it's also like warm at the same time, which is yeah, which is really. It's well, I'm just looking at the notes here. There is some incense in it as well, which mm. I think is like warming things up and giving it a nice mysterious. Mm. Now it's like it, the the initial freshness is kind of settling yeah. and it's becoming like quite full <laughs> yeah yeah I, this uh, is a, a lovely sense of perhaps wearing warmer weather you know yeah it's, um, 
invigorating, mm -hmm. refreshing. And it would definitely like warm up to warm skin as well, I yeah. think. Yeah. Out of ten, what do you think? I would say it's a seven as well. Okay. Only because the freshness is, it's not, as it's settling, it's not as fresh as initially when, right. it, when so, you sprayed it. That's so a why. seven for that one too? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I will just uh, spray the next one. If I can this find is the fanciest. I know, set isn't this? Yeah, it's a lovely little uh, set. Yeah. This one. They're just Gold caps and to, everything uh, and felt. I know. Well, I think that's just, uh, you know, aligns with the brand of Amouage. Mm. I think they're a very opulent, um, quite expensive niche brand originating from uh, Middle Eastern. Mm. Okay, so this is called Lyric Man. We've got two 7 out of 10s there. Oh. This is like softer. Yeah. Mm. Incense in this one again. There's incense in every single fragrance? I or? think so. I think, this, <laughs> I think with Amouage there's, always, uh, there's often a lot of incense in them, yeah. I would say out of the two, this is the more... It, it, they are masculine scents, but this is probably the one that is closer to a feminine one, in my okay. opinion. Right. Out yeah. of the two that well, you I've know, you so know far. what? I, I, I agree. Um, for me personally, I think that's because um, there's mm. rose in it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's yeah. like it's like a powdery rose, I find. Yeah. Definitely, and like, yeah. Yeah. really smooth, really round and, and comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely the most unisex of them. I, I enjoy it. I, I've, I, I'm sometimes a little bit wary of rose in fragrances because it just, for me, has associations with old, older ladies and, um, mm. and it's like an older lady type smell to me, rose. That portrait of a lady. Yeah. I, I know it's a great fragrance, but um, I, can't, I can't wear it. I think it's too much rose for me. Yeah, I agree one. with you. Yeah. I have trouble as well finding rose fragrances okay. that kind of fit what I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm not. Either they're too spicy or they're they're too metallic. Yeah. So the the rose yeah. oxide, that's a component of rose, yeah. gives that metallicness to it. And I just yeah. I spilt it on my lab coat when I was studying perfumery. All and right. oh my gosh, ever since that so happened, you've got that negative can't. association with <laughs> yeah. it now. Yeah. Um, so, um, so first impressions yeah. of lyric. Uh, I really Alton. like it. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Um, this is probably the one that I prefer out of the three. Oh yeah. Um, it's just, it's it's smoother, like, generally speaking, I'm not, like, I'm I'm not drawn too much to oriental scents, oh, generally right. speaking, I'm, like, heavy woods and everything okay. is not too much my thing, so this is, like, a good compromise, I would say. All right, okay, yeah, um, interesting. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming out from the point of view of what maybe you'd like to smell on a guy. Um, on a guy. But, but also, yeah, feel free to talk about I, if it's something you'd wear yourself as well. I mean, the, the, the other two that you showed me, I would wear myself as well. Oh, yeah? Um, I find it pretty unisex. I mean, I don't think you have to be a certain gender no. to wear scent no. anyways. No, it's just marketing, but, isn't it? But this is definitely, I, I guess, like you said, like more. a more unisex yeah. um, side of it. But yeah, no, on a guy, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I would love to smell yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. And then I could also steal it for myself too. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's um, your rating? So I would rate it as an eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. and that's an eight for lyrics. So that's the favorite so far. Now we have a, a one here called Reflection Man. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like every time I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Um, mm. Ooh. So um, Reflection Man is um, I, I, based around, for me, mainly jasmine and sandalwood. There's a few other things so in good. there. There's uh, Petit Grain, Neroli, Rosemary. Pepper. Yeah, I can get the Petit Grain. Yeah. The bit of like a bitterness to yeah. it. And then the jasmine, and it's just, ah, oh, this jasmine I is amazing. I actually think it, it doesn't smell on that strip for some reason. I don't know if it's because mm. they've got a little bit damp in the rain, but that doesn't smell quite as smooth as it does on the skin, I think. Can uh, I, is it possible yeah. to test it on my, on, on absolutely, absolutely. my skin or yeah, your skin? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, this is gorgeous. I mean, I'm, I'm a massive fan of jasmine, so like, or white flowers in general. Yeah. You put jasmine in anything, I'd be like, yep, yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah. And on men as well, like it smells amazing. And what was it? Is it um, Au Sauvage by Dior yeah. that had the highest Hedion was in there? Okay, right. Right? Yeah. I think um, so. I, well, I know I have the the Eau Sauvage uh, Parfum, mm. which is um, Mer. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the exact notes of that, but um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm sure it's listed as three notes, but I'm sure it has more than that. Mm. So it could well, could well do. 
Yeah, I think it was Eau Sauvage was the first fragrance okay. ever in, in like in the men's territory to use such a high concentration of hedione or like ah, a component right. of jasmine in Good there. knowledge. So great. But yeah, to check just That's in what case. What we like from our guests on Fragmental is good perfume knowledge. Well <laughs> I try. So you look, you really enjoy reflecting. I that. really love I it. I think this is actually. I don't know if it's the best seller mm. of the house, but it's, it's, this is a big one. This is the one that gets a lot of love. I think it's because it's so wearable and it's mm -hmm. so crowd pleasing. Really, it's so interesting at the same time. Um, it's a, th it's a very mm. thick scent. Heavy. It's like, to me, it's it's a bit green. Right. From and m m maybe it's the bitterness coming from the petit grain. Yeah. But it's like the. I mean, I'm a fan of floral fragrances, so like I said, you put florals anywhere, I'd be yeah. like all over it. So I really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, oh, it's my uh, favorite amouage. Is it? Right? This is the only one I have a bottle of, yeah. And do you, when, when do you tend to wear the scent? So, um, I'd pro I could wear it any time of the year, but mm -hmm. uh, I think it works really well in spring because it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Mm. Um, and then I think it's a good signature scent. I think mm -hmm. it's, you could definitely wear it as a, as a daytime signature scent, but then you could equally dress up in the evening, put an ice suit on and I'm so you would wear this well. with a suit like this is like a suit fragrance yeah i mean i could wear it with anything but i think it would work really well with dressed up smart yeah mm. yeah i see how that can be a, yeah so a do you think it's, it's a that. good smell for a guy oh yeah yeah definitely love it mm. good so rating wise so rating wise for reflection uh, 8.5 8.5 it's getting <laughs> higher yeah. i wonder if any of them will will top Reflection man, who knows? Right, here we go with Dia man. Or is it Dia? So, Dia? D-I-A. D-I-A? Yeah. Okay. Incense again in this, mm -hmm. surprise, surprise. I think after smelling the other ones, this is quite light. It is lighter, yeah. Um, I, agree. Yeah. I think there's some vetiver. Uh, in the uh, bitter orange plum, ylang mm -hmm. ylang. Oh, the plum, yeah, yeah. Yep. I can get the plum. It's like a bit velvety. Yeah. Like in te texture wise. Yeah. It, I think it needs to like evolve a little bit. Yeah. Maybe to. It, it, it's, it's lighter. Shine. And I think again on skin that one would shine mm. more than, than off the blotter. This is more of like what a winter scent you would say or. I, or would you wear it in I think too? I think that is quite a versatile scent yeah. to wear year round. Personally, for me, because um, it's not as mm. it's not as heavy as some of the others. Like Interlude, definitely not as, as heavy as Interlude. Um, and I think it's difficult to cook, to smell that f after smelling some of the stronger ones mm -hmm. as well, because it, it, it can feel a, a lighter scent than it actually is after mm -hmm. smelling a really strong one. We can yeah. come back to it. We'll, we'll, we'll have well, one more smell we'll of all of them. Come back to it. Yeah. The end, Let's yeah. wait for the rating. All right. If okay. you want. We'll hold out I, on the I rating. I don't want to butcher it yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 No problem. Um, so the last one we're going to talk about is Fate Man. And so are these part like a, of the same collection, or are they just diff like a discovery set the, of different? Um, I, it's, it's all. I think it's a discovery set of all their male marketed. Okay. Sets. <laughs> Because they are, of course, Amouage market specific versions of fragrances to, to the female mm -hmm. market as well. They just come in, in slightly different bottles. Okay. All right. That's all the spraying done. Ooh. Oh, I guess you can see from my expression that... You're not loving it? You're not I'm feeling not it? I'm not loving it, no. Yeah? No, Saffron, sorry. wormwood, ginger, mandarin, oh. another one with rose, immortel, mm. tonka, sandal, musk, and licorice. I get the licorice from that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry for those who are really enjoying this fragrance. We're getting some hate for fate. <sighs> it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> Great. That, we, we want the honesty. But that's because I, you know, I'm into like florals and lighter scents. So that's yeah. that's maybe why as well. But okay. yeah, I would say this is my least favorite out of all right. That's out of fine. All of them. Not feeling. Not no. feeling it. Yeah. Rating six. six? All it's right. past it's, it's past the average uh, mark, but yeah, no. <laughs> um, let's uh, let's go back through them again. So uh, here was the first one, Interlude, mm -hmm. which I think you said yeah. seven. This is really good. Yeah. Oh, it's so woody and yeah. smooth and it's great, sophisticated. Isn't it? I think when you said oh. opulent, I think that's the a key word for that one. This is amazing. After revisiting this to prepare for doing this video today. I'm really enjoying that, and I wouldn't mind having a bottle of that. Hint, hint. 
<laughs> or a partial bowl, whichever. Yeah. Yeah. Or just the empty bottle, just to look at it and yeah. then potentially the, smell a bit yeah. of it. I mean, this sample will last me a while because I think a couple of sprays and you're done. Yeah. I don't think you need to spray much. No. Of this one. So you're sticking with your seven for yeah. that one? Uh, yeah. Or, uh, or would you upgrade uh, on the dry down? I think I'm going to upgrade. All right. I think I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. That's an yeah. eight for interlude. Eight for interlude. All right. I think you initially said seven as well for mm -hmm. journey. Yeah, that I, I keep it. Yeah, keep it there. Yeah. Cool. Seven for journey, and then we had a lyric, which is the one that has some rose in, which was the slightly more feminine. Yeah, feminine this is one, nice. I think. Yeah. It's like a, it's it's a bit like. It's a it's a fresh rose actually. It's yeah, not it's yeah. an oriental rose but made fresh. Yeah, it's not sense. a deep rose, is it? No. That one. No. It's not too spicy. It's a bit I don't want to use the word watery because it's not watery, but yeah. it's definitely on the fresher side of oriental yeah. rose scents. And yeah. what was the initial rating you gave for that one, did you say? Was it um, eight? An eight, yeah. So sticking with that? Yep, sticking Still with that. Still with an eight, yeah. Okay. And then reflection. <sighs> Amazing. You know what? I'm gonna give it a nine because okay. it is so good. So there we go, Reflection Man getting oh. getting a lot of love, um, and it does generally. So I think. I mean, it smells amazing on my skin yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I it's, hot. To go in store. yeah it's definitely not a, just a male fragrance. Definitely not. Gosh, yeah. that I smell it on you. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Does Lovely, yeah. And I've got a friend who mm. wears this a lot. The Siage is fantastic off him. Yeah. You're walking behind him. Yeah, you really get it a lot. Are these fragrances, in your opinion, do they tend to be quite long-lasting as well, or...? Amouage, pretty long-lasting, yeah, yeah. Um, they're very robust fragrances with lots of kind of thick notes and fixatives in there, so mm -hmm. my experience of the ones I've worn, I think Interlude is probably the beast of them all, uh, but I get good performance from Re Reflection Man as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an all-day fragrance, yeah. Eight, eight, eight to ten hours. Amazing. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it's good. Amazing. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what you want as well from like an oriental set. You want it yeah. to last. Yeah. And you want it to smell strong. Yeah. You want people to smell you. Absolutely. And be like, you smell amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't want that? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so we've upgraded <laughs> Reflection Man to a nine. Okay. Um, so this was um, Deer. Deer mm -hmm. Man. That was the one that was a bit lighter. Bit lighter. Yeah. Bit it is. Lighter. It is an enjoyable scent. Yep. It is. And since I'm into lighter fragrances, I, I enjoy it, but it, it smells a bit flat compared to the other ones. Yep. It's a beautiful fragrance, but I, I agree. flat yep. versus the other I love ones. it. It's a bit more elegant, a bit more subtle. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if you wanted to, uh, to be in a situation where you wanted to smell nice, but, but not really mm -hmm. uh, um, giving off too much of a projection, yep. um, something that wasn't too obnoxious, I think this would be a good option. And it's, it's also really nice clean composition. too. Very clean, mm. uh, yeah. Um, what did I say, it was so... Uh, I think I think you said seven for that one. Seven, yeah. yeah. I'll I'll keep it there because okay. it's just right. just because it. So whether yeah. it was a seven or eight, it's, it's ending up as a seven. Oh yeah. We've committed. <laughs> and then this was the this was the lowly six. Let's see if anything's changed. Nope. <laughs> I keep it at six. <laughs> all right. Well. And all the blotters and paper have just blown away. So <laughs> I think go. that uh, is the end of the video. Um, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed. Uh, um, revisiting these fragrances in preparation for this video. Really enjoyed having your opinions, Josephine. Well, thank um, you so much. I enjoyed discovering these scents. No, it's, yeah, it's great, um, isn't it? Just to get people's too. first impressions. I'm glad that um, you really enjoyed Reflection Man because that is my favourite and I've just been pooped on my shoe, <laughs> my white shoe by a pigeon. I think we better wrap oh, no! this video up uh, before, um, before we get any more pigeon poop on us. So, from a very um, uh, pigeon. Uh, Friendly park. Friendly, <laughs> or all friendly park here in central London. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on Fragmental. Thank you so much for having let's me. Let's do it again sometime. Yeah, let's do it. Check out Josephine's Instagram. Um, go over there and have a look. Yep, yeah, same to you. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. Blow the video. Go over there. Show some love. So I was thinking <laughs> of. Oh, no, I got pooped on by a picture. <laughs>
And uh, it, it must have just picked the only person in the park wearing white, uh, <laughs> bright white jeans uh, to poop on. So, uh, oh. yeah. mm. and it waited till we were rolling on the camera. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. There you go. Okay, <laughs> this, this might be an outtake. Cool. This is awesome. Yeah. And we both got pooped on. <laughs> so there we, we're, we're even now. <laughs>